and suddenly the engine has just cut out. I think it might be too hot. We just don't know. It's never done that before. Oh, there might be a spot at the very end. Oh, is that bad? No, it's is it? Hi, I hope you're well. I really hope you had a good week and that you've been looking after yourself. Well, this week we are leaving the River Witham. We are trying to get as far off the River Witham as possible to start our new adventures for the autumn. running the engine at full power to get through this duckweed which has just multiplied over the last couple of days but it's a gorgeous evening and hopefully we'll be at our first stop Anton Scout soon. Right next to Slock is a cafe called the Dinky Green Kitchen, which is run by two really inspirational people who started it up as part of their semi-retirement, and it's just loaded with gorgeous foods. These cakes that was here then, are they gluten-free? The top row are gluten-free vegan, Yeah. All, but all of them, everything is vegan, everything else is vegan. Right. Botanical mix. Right. So what is so in that in in here are flowers and seeds and peas and all sorts of things it milled into the flour. Wow! But I've also done it for the gluten free because I've just used right. gluten free flour. Yes. But put the flowers and things in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where do you get that from? <laughs> um, dried flowers online. Right. Okay. They're edible. They're all edible. Okay. And then I was recommended this great book for if you're interested in good gut health, which I'm going to get. Everything was going really well at this stage and it was our plan to get to Fiskerton Fen which was about four hours from where we were at Anton's Gout and uh, we just really had to keep moving forward and plough our way through the weed.
There's a lot of bird life in this little stretch. There's so many house martins and swallows, starlings. I've seen them all here. This is the last time on my vlog that you're going to see the river with them or with them. I hope I've been pronouncing it properly. What I will say about this river is I've really loved it and even though it's been mushy pee in places, well in a lot of places, it's just lovely and to get to the end and see that view of the Boston Stump, I've seen otter as well here, to have all those experiences, it's just been amazing. I really hope you've enjoyed the vlogs on the river with them. To reverse, to let the weed out the This stretch of water that we're passing here is called the Kaimo. But unfortunately, there's just not enough water in it for us to get down there at the moment. We'll come back and do that. We have said that when we have done all our cruising, we're going to come back and do all the knobbly bits. And by that we mean all the little bits of the waterways that we haven't been able to do or get down for one reason or another. And we're going to call it the knobbly bits here. gone and gotten ourselves some swamp gooselers today. That is thick. Come on Alice. Come on Alice. Alice Grace is really finding it hard to get through this duckweed. I mean, you can see how thick it is here. And um, we think it might be good to stop for a little while and get something to eat up at Bardney. So we've been um, cruising for uh, two, three, four, five, six, about five, five and a bit hours. And suddenly the engine has just cut out. I think it might be too hot. We just don't know. It's never done that before. So we haven't quite got to the mooring spot, we're just drifting. Just so we can moor up, just to get some tea. But we're now just drifting in the middle of the wind. Oil all, all over the engine. We think where the boat has worked so hard ploughing through the weed, that the coolant has bubbled over and that is what's all over the engine because where the wet patch is on the engine board that sits directly over the coolant bottle <laughs> It's such a good job that there's no other boats coming because we are completely widthways across the river now.
with the engine just about running and our nose completely squashed into the reeds we carefully reverse and turn back to the moorings at Bardney. While Alice rested her engine, we filled our bellies. You would have thought I'd had enough mushy peas, but no. The engine has started, the sun is setting, but we have an hour left. I tell you what, it's absolutely gorgeous out here this evening. lock because it's just a bit worried about the whole engine situation. is up here somewhere and we've got to hope that there's spaces. It looks like it's full. Oh, there might be a spot at the very end. Oh, is that bad? Is it? Here we are left with no choice but to reverse to the very end of the pontoon and drop the anchor at the front. What a... What an amazing adventure that was.
And this is what we looked like in the morning. But at least we were in a beautiful place, Fiskerton Fen. Because this is Fiskerton Fen. Not only does the grass taste good at Fiskerton Fen, it's also part of a restoration project protecting and bringing back some of the 99% which has been lost over the last 300 years of reedbed and fenland. Look what the wasps have done, that soak is so clever. Look at that. That's beautiful, the way they've made that. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Then off I went to the Iron Age roundhouse style bird hide. So I've come here, it's a Sunday evening, as a treat to myself. Just to sit in the bird hide. No one's here apart from me. Just to sit here and see what I can see. And together we watch the evening draw in. And then honestly, with a heart full of joy, I left the swallow behind. Did you like the river with them? Did I like it? I would say. It's a river of adventure where the otters like to play. It's a river in a cloak of the plushest velvet green, draping through a landscape the flattest you have seen. A treasure chest of history from which to take your fill. A fenland full of wildlife. I even saw a seal. So you ask me, did I like it? I loved it. What I'll say is I'll definitely revisit in my narrowboat one day.